So here we have it, the OnePlus 9 Pro. It's finally arrived and I'm looking forward to this. Let's go. So let's move this off to the side for one second. I'm just gonna crack the charger open first. So if I can just get the scissors in here. Okay, this came free with my pre-order. The pre-order for me was 829 pounds and it came free with this OnePlus Warp Charge 50 wireless charger. So this wirelessly charges the phone at 50 watts. It goes from zero to 100% in I think about 45 minutes, which is absolutely rapid for a wireless charger. And I mean, you can't ask for much better than that, can you? Let's get this open. Okay, that wasn't great, that wasn't meant to happen. Kind of opened it the wrong way, but what can you do? There it is, the OnePlus, ooh, OnePlus Warp Charge 50 charger. Wireless charging at 50 watts, and I think that's pretty rapid. You can't ask for much more. It comes with a detachable red OnePlus cable, and some, I mean, no one's gonna read that, but it comes with some notes in there for you to check out if you're fancy. But yeah, there's the Warp Charger. Quite sturdy packaging. You'd probably cause some damage with that. Move that off to one side. I'll just leave that there for now. So into the main event, the OnePlus 9 Pro. 829 pounds with the wireless charger and with a bag, which I'll show you later. Let's crack it open. I got the black version, 128 gigabytes of storage, eight gigabytes of RAM. And let's see it. Let's see it. Okay, this came out with it as well. So this is all the, the extra bits, the paperwork, the contact numbers, all that kind of stuff is in there. I think the SIM card ejector tool is in there as well. And obviously you can see, if you've not already, co-developed by Hasselblad, the H on the side, co-developed by Hasselblad on the bottom. And you've probably seen it all over the place, Hasselblad at the bottom of this they're pushing that Hasselblad partnership for the camera. But there's been some controversy. We'll get to that. So, here it is, the foam. The black, the best color. Just put that down for a second. Anything else? Oh, nice. Comes with a black case. Very, very nice. Matte black phone, matte black case. So you don't have to go out and buy a separate case if you've got one of these in the box. Um, I heard a rumor that it didn't come with one if you got the pre-order kit, but yeah, really, really good. Matte black case, matte black phone, I like it. Obviously the cable and a 65 watt wall charger that comes in the box. Now that is a big one, that is a big boy, it's massive. But 65 watt wired charging comes in the box, no extra cost. So I've got two fast wireless chargers, the phone, and the backpack and a, a world-class hat for 829 pounds. Not bad, not bad. We'll put that off to one side, leave the case on there for now. Okay. And we'll get into the phone. Here we go. Wow. Just look at it. You just gotta look at it. Wow. So people, this feels really good. This feels really good. If you actually look at it really close, it's got a little bit of like a, a texture to it. If you remember the sandstone backs, it looks a little bit like that. It doesn't feel like that. It just feels like the matte, matte black glass, like the frosted glass, but it looks like it's got a little bit of a texture to it. I mean, I love that black look. People that are choosing green over that, I mean, look how stealthy and cool that looks. It is so good. So obviously Hasselblad branding on the back, OnePlus logo, and we've got four cameras, which we'll get into in a bit. We've got the alert slider on the side, as well as the power button, the volume rocker on the other side, speakers on the bottom and a USB-C port, which is great to see, SIM card ejector tool, and on the top is just a microphone. So let's power this on. First impressions are, it's 
it's quite big. It's quite big. I've been using the Pixel 5, the OnePlus 12, uh, the Pixel 5, the iPhone 12 mini, um, and a little bit of the Pixel 4a. I've been using those three, obviously a lot smaller than this. This is quite big, but if I can get used to the, the size again, I think it could be great. There are some concerns, which I'll get onto in a second. Okay, so I'm finally into the phone. That took some time. Um, let's put this on silent. So, alert slider, awesome that that's still there. I think every Android manufacturer should do that. Only OnePlus and Apple, I think, really do that. So that's great. The screen looks incredible. It's at full brightness now. Um, the screen looks incredible. It's heavy, but feels really good. As I always say, feel in the hand doesn't matter if you're gonna stick a case on it. I'm gonna try and run this without a case. I don't wanna use a case. It's good that it comes with this black one in the box. Um, but I don't really want to use a case because the matte feel is really nice on the back. Phones are obviously built for us to hold and not stick plastic on the outside. So I'm gonna try and not use a case, but we'll see how that goes. There is a screen protector on it. So I'm gonna take that off straight away because you can feel the difference between the plastic and the glass and I don't like the plastic feel. So that's off straight away, done. Fingerprint unlock, failed the first time, got me the second time. So we're in, big phone, obviously, big, big phone, but I mean, looks awesome. I'm just accepting all these things, just set it up. So I've not set anything else up properly yet. It took a while, I don't know why the internet might have been struggling. Um, looks really good, feels really good. Matte black feels really nice. I'll just let you have a look at the black back for now. So there it is. The matte black OnePlus 9 Pro. I think personally this is the best color. Oh, black, black, I don't care. People are buying green phones over this. I understand if you're doing it for storage, but if it's purely for the color, I would never ever go green over a, a matte black like this. You can see the Hasselblad logo, you can see the camera, so we've got a 48 megapixel main camera, a 50 megapixel ultra wide camera, which looks really good. Then we've got a eight megapixel 3.3 times optical lens, I think on the back, as well as a two megapixel monochrome sensor. Again, that might as well not be there. But the two main cameras are the ones I'm really bothered about. There's just been a software update put through, I think, today. Uh, there's a couple on launch day as well, so I think there's been some camera improvements today. So we'll see how that does. My um, thoughts on the whole camera situation with OnePlus is that a smartphone is more than just a camera. So I don't think the be all and end all of a smartphone is the camera and the camera experience. That is part of it, but it feels like a lot of the time, 99% of what people talk about is the camera. Much more goes into it than that. I do have a few concerns about the phone. Um, stutters due to the LTPO display panel that can go from 120 hertz to one hertz refresh rate. But with Mark's text little test that he did that shows a refresh rate on the screen, it didn't actually go below 60 hertz. It was just going between 60 hertz and 120 hertz. It wasn't dropping any lower than 60. So that could be a reason that some people are seeing some battery issues as well. So hopefully that gets fixed over time. People are complaining of the front facing camera. I don't have an issue with the front facing camera. How many selfie videos I took over the last year? I would say maybe one or two. So your usage may vary, but I don't use selfie video. I don't really use a front facing camera. I'm not taking selfies all the time. So the front facing camera only being 1080p for video isn't the end of the world for me. It not being the best quality, again, isn't the end of the world for me. More of the important things for me are the, the screen experience, the speakers, the haptics, um, how it performs day to day, what it feels like to use, the fluidity, that kind of thing. Camera, as long as it's good enough, doesn't have to be the best in the world, as long as it's good enough, then I'm sure me and my little OnePlus 9 Pro will get on fine. Yeah, just my first impressions. There are a few concerns out there for the phone. People saying OnePlus have, have messed up a little bit. I'm not so sure. I'll give it a few tests. Obviously, we'll be testing the display. We had display issues on the OnePlus 8 Pro, which I've uh, done a lot of videos on. So I'll be testing out the display on the OnePlus 9 Pro for sure. And 
yeah, I'll see how I get on with it over time. Battery life, be interested to see how that does. The screen, 120 hertz. It's disappointing if that doesn't drop below 60 hertz, but it should, but we'll see. So this was it. We've got the OnePlus 9 Pro in stellar black. And we do have the black case, which I'm not gonna stick on it yet, but it's great that we have that case, as well as the Warp 50 wireless charger. Awesome. OnePlus, I think it looks great. Let's just hope it performs as well as it looks. If there's anything that you want to see from me and the OnePlus 9 Pro, let me know in the comments below. Drop a comment, follow me on Twitter, let me know on there if there's anything you want me to test out. The screen, that is coming soon. Don't worry about that, I'll be testing that soon. That's all from me. Thanks for watching. This was Foxtech and I'll catch you on the next one.